right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. over Yoel Romero. Hard to quantify, though, how difficult those 50 minutes against Yoel Romero were and what type of toll it might take on Whitaker here moving forward. Yes, but after the Romero fight, there was a lot of time in between fights for Whitaker, which allows you to recover. Because you hear the stories about the guys that say they fight Yoel. No one's like him. No one feels like right. him. But Robert Whitaker was able to manage that over the course of two very, very difficult fights. And he was able to do that because of the fantastic cardio, the great wrestling mentality, and also the unbelievable striking and the ability to stare down the barrel of a loaded shotgun in Yoel yeah. Romero's left hand and feel safe. That allowed Robert Whitaker to keep his belt in both of those instances. And we knew from his debut in 2012 that he would be something special, and has certainly been every bit that. Our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. Now for the official introductions. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> This one. Ready. Good. All right, round one is upon us, and it always feels special and heightened when Robert Whitaker is in there. Not just in Australia, not just in. Oh, you heard it bad. Nice jab by Robert Whitaker. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Right on the button. Very nice leg kick there by Whitaker. Keep your hands up. Straight right is there. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You gotta move your head. You cannot be on a straight line. Otherwise, you will take shots, and that shot, and those shots, leads to your face starting to swell. Oh, nice elbow. Well, he misses with the left punch there. And now some distance as they pull apart. 
Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. They're so evenly matched, and they're going to attack. He's got that single collar tie. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Two minutes have expired here in our opening round. He landed that inside leg kick. Nasordini Mavov shot is blocked. Oh, beautiful straight left hand. Whips on the straight right hand. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. All right now, a little separation between the two fighters. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Whitaker gets caught by the inside leg kick. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Nice punch, man. And they separate. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. All right, so it looks like some bruising on that thigh right now. He hasn't really done anything to address that weapon from his opponent. He's got to check some kicks. I know right now it may not be that damaging, but down the line, you're going to really pay for it if you don't address it right now. Hook to the head there by Imavov. Oh, nice calf kick there by Robert Whitaker. Every strike he would have in the arsenal as a world-class mixed martial arts striker. Robert Whitaker has, and that's one he's added to the repertoire over the last few fights. Under 20 seconds now to go. And now some separation. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. All right, here, final seconds of round one. reach the end of round one. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Ready to fight? Ready. Go All right, let's get to round two. All right, here we go. This next round is underway. He got worked in that previous frame. We'll see if he has recovered here as he enters this next round. You don't recover in a minute, so he needs to extend the recovery time. Fight at a slower pace. You cannot go in there slinging leather again, or he'll find the light shut out this time. Well, missed on that one. While well, the striking clinic continues, and 
He's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an axis. He cannot be straight on the center line. That center line, you got to get off of it. You cannot go forward without moving your head. Another punch to the head. He's really turning every part of himself into those strikes to the head. Leg kick. Those leg kicks that's eating him alive. Take him down. Clean punch. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, it's separation the clinch. All right, so he lands again just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his Muay Thai game tonight. You know why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early, and now he's continuing to build on that. This kickboxer looks amazing tonight. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Just over three minutes to go. volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he's oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Collar tie here in the clinch. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fist. He gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Two minutes remain in the round. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing strike. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the level of the fighter in front of you. Right now, you've got to do something different to try and change the way that this fight is playing out. Oh, nice. Well-rounded fighter continues to pressure the kickboxer and landed a really nice hook in that exchange. You can tell every time he wants to really put some damage on his Good opponent point, because he goes to the hook. It's his best punch, and he lands it once again. Nasordini Mavov's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Under a minute to go. Gets to the single collar tie. All right, so he lands his first takedown of the fight after many failed attempts. So he stayed committed. Now he has the fight in his wheelhouse. Let's see what he can do. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the book. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. This is where he wants to be. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. 
is every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. You ready to fight? You ready? Third yeah. round on the way. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Heavy on the cut. Heavy on the cut. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single cut. All right, we told you we'd keep an eye on it, DC. That cut is starting to open up wider now, and he continues to target that area wise. Well, when you saw it right away, it wasn't that bad. But as he continues to target it, you can start to see it opening up. Look for him to continue to go down that route to try to get this victory. Oh, and he caught the kick. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Keep your hands up, protect your face, keep moving. Just misses with the jab there. That was a big check. It almost looked like he went limp there for a second. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Imabov's shot there is blocked. That one's not good. Nice strike. All right, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness. And yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing a bunch of damage to that thought. Well, he's having to rely on it. Once again, it's become his calling card. And when you are known to be tough, that's a problem. you got to be more technical. Right now, he needs to find a way to change this fight. Because if it continues to play out the way that it has to this point, he's going to get finished. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt him again. Gets back to his feet. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Whitaker's eye appears to be closing up by the second. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt, and he's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. By Whitaker. Under a minute to go in the round. Working the inside of that lead leg. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him here. Yeah, and you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final goal. Oh, he hurt him again. Oh, big left hand there. Working out of that southpaw stance. 20 seconds now remain in the round.
Final seconds of round three. Huge knee lands to the plank. Whitaker going for the go top down here, nothing doing there. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We gotta talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it's got, got to be kind of fun to strut your way back to the store. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can <laughs> drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body. He throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he Ready cannot fight. take many more Ready. of those types of strikes. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. What a beautiful leg kick that landed there. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue down the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Whitaker gets caught by that straight punch. You've got to do better than that defensively. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single cowl tie. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, despite his corner's best intentions, he hasn't made the requisite adjustment. He continues to eat upper leg kicks on that thumb. He's got to switch his stances. The problem with switching your stances is everything doesn't work as well on the opposite side. So your mind tells you, get back to where you're good. But the reality is, you have got to find a way to stop this guy from landing all of these leg kicks. Nice. Nicely done. Nice execution on the team. Mavov's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Now he switches stances. Under three minutes now to go on the round. He's cut. Oh, big Well, you can feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Nasordini Mavo. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Unable to connect with the right hook. Well, if these were calf kicks, this fight would likely already be over, but I would say it's pretty critical with the thigh damage at this stage of the fight. It's very close, and the thigh is, is bigger. It's a bigger muscle, so it takes more damage in order to limit him. But look at his movement. He can barely move around the octagon now. It's very, very close to being stopped by leg kicks. Under two minutes to go. Big shot to the head. All right, so we'll call it time now. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor, champ. The swelling starting to become a factor. This guy is so good at recognizing a weakness in his opponent. He got him hurt, he got him swollen a little bit, and now it's starting to pay dividends. Straight right hand now, just misses. Misses with the right hand. 
Lavov's really making things difficult for the opposition right now, continuing to target that damaged nose, and that last strike absolutely found the target. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, nice. He gets to the single collar tie. Look at him the way on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Oh, man, that calf is going to be so sore for weeks. Another flush shot. I think we might get a stoppage here soon. A stoppage by leg kick. We don't see him very often. We've seen Edson Barbosa have one before. We felt like Ankalaev was one. Oh, oh well-disguised hip toss there to get his opponent down. Well, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Whitaker's in half goal. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. 20 minutes in the can, five to go. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Fifth ahead. and final round, fourth cover. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, you will see it start to pay itself off. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Oh, good block there. Oh, back and forth we go. Stay relaxed. Breathe. Back to the well with the uppercut. Now it's true. Another punch to the head. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Whitaker's trying to make that eye swell shut, DC, as you see the fighter continuing to land strikes and target that eye that is already pretty severely swollen. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the body. with that hook well placed there by Nasur Dini Mava. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All right, now they separate. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Under three minutes remain in round five. What a great job getting that kick to the top. Oh, hurt him again, bro. Checks the leg kick. Oh, nice inside kick. Left hand counter there. Just misses with that one. All right, take your time. Take your time. Relax. Breathe. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad right now. It's still bloody, 
but it's not really limiting his, his ability to continue. Let's see if he can get through this and win this fight. Oh, lead hook by Whitaker. Ninety seconds now to go in this one. Imabov's bruised on that right calf. Now you see it there, DC, with the welt. Don't want to take too many more of those. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Massive key to the body land. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. It's hard. Both guys are. They've worked hard. One minute to decide this one. Misses with the left hook. Work that cut, work that cut. It's a pretty fast jab. Imavov's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear limp that the fighter is dealing with right now. Do some work, guys. <laughs> leg kick checked by Robert Whittaker. Twenty seconds to go in the fight. Attack that cut. Let's go. Get it. Fifteen seconds to go. Oh, collar tie. Now he gets him. What a fight! Twenty-five minutes turned in. We'll Ladies see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce rounds, Buffer. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Nasruddin Ivanov! All right, well, congratulations to that man right there. The rather gifted kickboxer had it all going tonight, played to his strengths, scored points, and I thought secured a relatively clear-cut decision. You know, John, everybody asked, what was this guy's ceiling when he came to the UFC when he has that background in kickboxing? I think we know now. Huh. We know that this guy can be a champion because not only can he kickbox, he can do everything, and it was all shown in this huge unanimous decision.